There were some fantastic comedians in the 70s, some fantastic comedians, but the majority were sexist, racist, homophobic. In fact, those were categories at the British Comedy Awards. <laughs> now, the 70s were fine, unless you happen to be black, gay, Irish, a woman. Terrible time to be a woman. Terrible time to be a woman in the 70s, you know. They had jobs, but they didn't get paid in money. They just got, like, vouchers for detergent and stuff. <laughs> One of the examples they always give of Broken Britain is just how pissed young women get in high streets, isn't it? They're always showing pictures of, like, they're going, young women, just, God, what, the, what are they? They get so pissed, isn't it terrible? You'll have a picture of a girl, she'll have her knickers around her ankles like that, and she'll be going like that, going, Wah! Wah! And they'll have some headline which basically says, Do, do! And I always think to myself, why is that such a bad thing? You know, you know, she's obviously got a job. You can't get that pissed on benefits, can you? <laughs> she's out enjoying herself, yeah. And the 70s, another terrible thing about the 70s, terrible time to be innocent, wasn't it? Dreadful time to be innocent, you know? Because there was no DNA in the 70s, no. Anyway, the police used to know if someone had really genuinely committed a murder was if the murderer had left his scarf at the scene of the crime <laughs> and it matched his hat and gloves at home. <laughs> Disabled toilets. There were no disabled toilets. No, no. A disabled toilet meant the system had been smashed with a lump hammer. <laughs> like I said, food. If you wanted olive oil in the 70s, you had to go to a chemist. Yeah. <laughs> you say, I'd like some olive oil, please. And the chemist would go, uh, what's your problem? I've got a salad that needs dressing. Yeah. <laughs> salad cream. That sounds a lot better than the reality, doesn't it? Because you know, what comes out of that bottle shouldn't go on salads and it ain't cream. <laughs> It should be called albino ketchup, shouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. But I do, I, I hate that phrase, I hate that phrase, because I'm a very patriotic sort of person. I am very, terribly, really patriotic, I'm very patriotic. I don't show my patriotism in the normal, traditional ways. You know, like during, during the World Cup, for example, my car wasn't covered in the flag of St George. In fact, I got into an argument with a guy uh, at, at some traffic lights, he pulled up alongside me, and his car was covered in the flag of St George. And he looked across at me, and he'd seen me on some football panel show, and he went, uh, Call yourself an England fan. Where's all your flags? Because right, he was quite a sort of generic, stereotypical character. And, <laughs> and I said, look, mate, all those flags on your car, so they're made in China. Yeah, made in China. Whereas if you look closely, you'll notice that I am driving a Rover. Yeah, comes bottom in every top gear pole and what car pole for economy, safety, handling, comfort. It's a piece of shit, right? <laughs> but it's English. I said, when I get home, I'll have a can of Carling. It's disgusting. It tastes like a crow's pissed in your bath. <laughs> and it'll be lukewarm, it's got a hot point fridge. <laughs> you put more than six things in it, it can't cope, it starts to heat them up. <laughs> and then I'll go and sit on my DFS sofa, highly uncomfortable, highly flammable. <laughs> I could have got a much better one, half the price from Ikea, but they're Swedish, so they can fuck off. <laughs> Then I'll switch on my Red Diffusion TV set. <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'd like to watch, you know, The Sopranos or CSI or something like that. I can't. I've got to watch Keeping Up Appearances on UK Gold. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not even boring. <laughs> Actually makes me want to self-harm. Ah. <laughs> I said, my life's a misery. If I want to fly anywhere, I've got to go out and rent an old Spitfire and go around old people's homes trying to find a pilot. <laughs> I said, then my wife comes home, she's in a bad mood, yes. She'd been to the beauty parlour, she wanted a full Brazilian, right? But for obvious reasons, I wouldn't let her. No, no, she had to have a full English. <laughs> they actually put hair on. <laughs> it's like walking around with a doormat between your legs. <laughs> OK. Um, C-17, C-17. <whistles> oh, sorry, I sh oh, sorry, I meant to point out, during the course of the show, I do audience battleships. <laughs> it's a bit of fun. And whoever's in that seat, all they have to do, I've got my book here, right, all the, whoever's in that seat, what they have to do is, um, is they just have to give me their name, a letter, any letter, any letter, and a word beginning of that letter, and I'll see if I've got anything on it, or if not, I'm knackered. Um, no, it's a, it's a bit of fun. For example, say someone like P, they said P and pirates. 
I see if I've got anything on pirates. It's a bit of fun. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Who's in C17? You don't need to stand up. You don't need to stand up. It's fine. You can if you want. But uh, what's your name? Janie, you look quite young. How old are you? 16. I've got piles older than you. Um, <laughs> I feel bad even you knowing that, really. Um, <laughs> well, welcome. What letter would you like? I know it's tough, isn't it? Um, <laughs> you probably had a really tough day at school. The last thing you want is, oh, I've got to come up with a letter. I was came for a bit of fun and night out, but uh, <laughs> pressure's on. Um, what letter? F. And what word beginning with F? <laughs> Football. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes people get tricky and they shout out, Fahrenheit. <laughs> Inside I was going, it's going to be fucking Fahrenheit again, isn't it? And I still haven't thought of anything for it. Football? Well, that's, that's easy, that, isn't it? Football. What have I got on football? Go to F. Oh, shit, fuck all. Um, <laughs> no, I do, I love football. I, think, I actually think of one rule change that would really improve football, though. I think it's a very simple rule change. Instead of, uh, uh, of, of yellow and red cards, you know, when someone's done something wrong, I think they should have, like, blue and purple cards, yeah? And the reason I like that is because most, most managers are Scottish, aren't they, in, in, in the Premier League, and they can't say purple. <laughs> and I'd really like to see Alex Ferguson getting angry about Rooney getting a purple card, going, there's no way Rooney deserved a purple card! <laughs> it was, it was nay a purple card! <laughs> Got a bit lucky there. <laughs> I'll acknowledge that. Uh, F4. Hi. What's, What's your name? name? Chris. Chris. Yeah. X for X-ray. X for X-ray. X. Oh, you went a bit maverick there, didn't you? X. <laughs> I'm going to pick one of the crazy letters. <laughs> yeah, well, my ship just came in. I got X-rays. What's that all about, then? Um, <laughs> I really push people's patience with this, I, you know. I've had people wishing they were unemployed so they couldn't afford a ticket. <laughs> x-ray, x-ray. You know, I was wondering, you know doctors at their Christmas parties, do you think they x-ray their asses? <laughs> like that. Oh, shit, I've got cancer. <laughs> well, it'd be good, find it early, cure it. It's actually a really positive story, a life-affirming story. <laughs> about technology in the future.